Okay, we've got a data table about the ages, you know, the number of years teachers have taught. So write down the class interval that contains the median. So we've got 41 teachers. Where's the middle? So if I had 41 teachers and lined them all up, um, the middle will be the 21st teacher. So well, there'll be 20 on either side and one in the middle. So the 21st teacher, and he is in this box. He's one of these because there's 14 up to here. And then there's 27 at the end of this box. So the 21st one is in this box. So we write down the class interval, which is 10 to 20. Just copy down what it says here. Now, you can see these extra boxes are here. So we know there's another question coming and it's an estimate for the mean number of years. So we need to know the mean. So whenever we need to estimate the mean, that's because we don't know exactly how many years these 14 teachers have been teaching. So because we don't know, we're going to guess. And that's what makes it an estimate. And the best guess we can think of, the best guess you can have, is the midpoint. So we're going to estimate that these 14 teachers have taught for five years. These 13, the middle again, the middle of 10 and 20 is 15. Middle of 20 and 20, 20 and 30 is 25. 30 and 40, so 35. And 40 and 50, so 45. And then we're going to do the midpoint times frequency. So 14 teachers teaching for five years. So we can do this in the calculator. 14 times five, we're going to times them across. And it's 70. So 14 teachers teaching for five years, that's 70 years in total. So then we've got 13 times 15. Again, use the calculator, 195. Eight times 25, which is 200. 4 times 35, which is 140, and 245, which is 90. Now, so we've added up across, now we need to add them down. So the total number of years is all of these ones added up. So put it in the calculator, it should give you 695. So we should get 695. And remember there are not 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 teachers, there are 41 teachers. There are 41 teachers and in total they've taught for 695 years. So add them all up, divide by how many, and that gives us, using the calculator again, 16.9512195 years. So this question isn't telling us how many decimal places or significant figures it wants us to give. So we can pick really. Um, so let's just do two decimal places. So we'll do 16.95 years to two decimal places.